Hey everyone, uh, Jeremy here. It's uh, Friday night and we're gonna create some art. Um, so real quick, uh, I do kind of have like a different setup today. I moved all my stuff to a new computer. So if you guys can give me a thumbs up and let me know that the uh, audio is fine and that you can see me, all of that stuff, that would be really awesome um, just for my own peace of mind. I, th I think everything's set up right, but I'm not, you know, like I'm not a professional broadcaster or anything like that. So I'm not really sure. Um, but if, uh, you guys can just let me know, it looks like everything's working, but if you can't hear me, then, um, just, uh, just kind of let me know. Uh, so what are we working on tonight? So, um, you know, I, I like to experiment. I like to try different things. Um, I, tonight's going to definitely be experimental because I've never done this before. Uh, I'm going to try to use charcoal on a canvas board that I, that I found like, um, you know, like in my art supplies, I just had an old discarded, uh, Oh, cool. Trusted gives me a thumbs up. Uh, thanks, Trusted. I appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to try to do a charcoal drawing on canvas board. Um, eventually, I, I'd like to move in, into uh, doing charcoal on like actual canvases, like really large canvases. Uh, so I thought this would be a good uh, test run. And as usual, like whenever I'm testing something out, uh, I like to draw horses uh, just because I live in Kentucky uh, in the horse capital of the world. And there's like a ton of horses around here. Um, so I'm always kind of constantly trying to get better at drawing horses. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, so again, this is a canvas board. I didn't tape it down or anything like that because I figured I might move it a little bit because I'm going to try a couple of different things. Um, one thing I'm going to try to do is create some cool texture by applying some acetone, in which case I would want like gravity to work for me. So I'm going to lift it up. But anyway, so like, uh, if you're wondering like why this is a little different setup than usual, it's also like a larger uh, uh, piece than I usually draw on. Uh, I usually draw on like nine by 12 uh, paper. This is like an 11 by 14 uh, canvas board. So it's just canvas board. There's nothing special about it. I think it's the cheap kind that uh, you get from Walmart, but I don't know, like it was in my art supplies. It, it I don't even know where I got it from, um, but I've been eyeing it for a while. I was thinking about doing like maybe a, uh, like an acrylic painting or something like that. But I figured, you know, I've got a couple of them. I, maybe I'll do that later. But right now I just want to try working on um, uh, charcoal on canvas board. That's the, uh, the attempt for today. So hopefully it won't move around too much. Usually I like to tape things down, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I do have some reference artists, just a generic horse. Um, so yeah, you could do, I, I, my understanding is that, um, you know, well, well charcoal is pretty versatile. You can use charcoal on, uh, on virtually anything. Uh, I haven't tried it on wood. I don't know how that would go. Um, but I am kind of curious about that because I, um, I, I saw somebody doing some really cool, uh, like wood burning, um, art. And, uh, I thought like, well, it'd be kind of cool to, um, use a uh, charcoal with wood burning. So look for that in the future because that, that, does sound like something I'd like to try to do. So I've got my bourbon here. It is Friday night. We're gonna like let loose and just have some fun. Don't know how long this is gonna take, but uh, I'm just gonna jump right in and get started. Um, so I'm not really sure how to approach this, to be honest. I've never drawn on a canvas board, except for like with pencil to kind of like, um, uh, you know, like put down like a base drawing so that I, I knew how to uh, paint, but I, I'm going to try to approach it just like I do with, um, you know, like my pencil drawings, but I can already tell like this texture here is pretty interesting. I, I wonder if that kind of smooths out, but so I think, I think the head of the horse, I just kind of want to figure out where everything is and then I'll worry about like, I don't know where to go from there, to be honest. I don't know if I want the horse's head to be up this high, like with the uh, ear and everything, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the audio is a little bit better as well. So like I moved the mic to be like right in front of me so that whenever I'm leaning over to the picture, you guys don't have to struggle to hear what I'm saying. But if the audio levels are fine and all that stuff, I, I think I'm gonna go with this for like the new norm. So I think the face will come down here, somewhere down here, I think. That might be a little bit long. No, I think that's fine. So somewhere down here is going to be the mouth. It's so weird drawing on, uh, because it's so textured. Like, this is weird to me. I'm used to, uh, even like when drawing with um, charcoal, I, I usually use like the smooth paper. So like, I, I don't even, 
I don't even draw on like watercolor paper when it comes to charcoal, but at least it's sticking to it. So that's kind of cool. So there's going to be like a mane coming down over his head. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm glad you're here, Trusted, because like, well, one thing, I trust your uh, view on things. So like, uh, like I know you watch a lot of YouTube, so you would let me know. I trust Trusted Living. Trusted Living is a pretty cool guy, for those who don't know him. I, I think most of you guys do. Like, he, he's been around, like, a lot of the YouTube uh, shows. But he's uh, he's got a lot of cool views on things. Uh, he gets into, um, I don't know, like, is it fair to say that you get into, like, aliens and, like, cool, like, I don't know, mysteries of the universe kind of things? Because that, that's my impression. I know that, like, your interests probably... Or, or more than just that, but that that's what I remember you for is like you have some cool conversations about aliens every now and then. So this is just where the years are. I might move some of this stuff around. Um, you know, like if you watch any of my charcoal pictures, you know that this is just kind of getting an idea of where everything is and we can adjust all these lines later. I'm not even really worried about these lines so much i just want to know where the horse's head is so that i can work on the background because i wanted to try some cool effects back there um i don't know how they'll go but so right around here i think we'll start his back it's a slight angle there a little weird because my reference uh photo it's very narrow so like obviously this canvas board is a little bit wider um so i kind of have to uh yeah okay cool 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 so i kind of have to make some adjustments here in my own mind because to for like the larger width of the canvas like i don't want to i don't want to draw this dude too fat or anything like that it's so weird drawing it like can you guys hear that? I'm sure you can hear that. Um, it's so rough, but it's kind of cool too. I like it. So all of this would be in shadow because it's like underneath his neck. I'll figure out what to do with his mane. So I'm I'm also using um the, like I have trouble explaining everything that I'm doing, but I'm also using um this uh piece of uh charcoal that's like stick charcoal like kind of like um i don't know like a twig almost and i i've gotten in the habit of like using this to do like sketching just to kind of um map out where everything is is there any commentary with jefferson bible oh okay that's cool let me see how it blends again this is just experimentation so like if i'm doing things kind of in a weird order it's just because i yeah, so it blends pretty well, just like like it would on paper. I mean, you get these little like little dots and stuff just because of the texture of the canvas, but I don't think that that's a deal breaker. Honestly, I, I kind of like this. This is pretty cool. Sometimes I like to use a charcoal, uh, like a textured charcoal paper anyway. Like um, there's a lot of different kinds of uh, charcoal paper. Like basically, you can use charcoal on on virtually anything when it comes to uh, uh, paper. But I usually like to use the smooth paper. But every now and then, I break out this um, Strathmore paper that I got at some point in my in my life. Uh, I've had it for like I don't know a couple of decades or whatever. Um, but I like to break that out, and it's got a little bit of texture to it, and it's kind of cool. Like, I used to have a horse drawing up on the wall there that was done on that paper. That's kind of cool. All right, so I was just kind of curious how it blends. So it looks like it, it, it works basically like regular paper. So, all right, I feel a little more confident. I'm going to move on. So I'm going to put that to the side. Now that I kind of know where, basically, I want the horse, I wanted to, like, work on the background a little bit. Um, for that, I'm, I'm going to use, like, this... this uh, powder charcoal that I kind of uh, grind and grind it up, grounded, grind, grund, grind it up. <laughs> Basically, every time I sharpen my uh, charcoal, I uh, I keep the uh, the leftover powder from it so that I can use it for things like this. I'm, I just want to kind of like put in a bit of a background back here. I'm going to make a mess. I know I am. I'm going to have to clean this table when I'm done. 
That's like a lot of charcoal too. Gonna spread it around here. I need one of those um, little uh, handheld uh, vacuums or something to suck this stuff up. But anyway, this is kind of cool. I do like the texture. Like, honestly, I love the texture on this. It makes me feel like it's um, it's almost like painting or something. And this is just like a makeup brush, by the way. Um, I kind of swiped it. I don't wear makeup myself, so <laughs> I don't go around buying makeup brushes. If that's your thing, you know, if, if you're a dude and you wear makeup, no judgments. But I do not, so... But, yeah, this is cool. So it looks like, um, it looks like my new setup is, so I moved everything to a different computer. Um, because I was getting tired of plugging in and unplugging, like I use my phone as a camera, and uh, obviously I use my phone for other things. Actually, actually. Is that for like, like, like a code or something like a like a cipher or like a what's some more details on that like is the jefferson bible like part of a uh because i the only reason i ask is i'm, I'm I, you know i've heard of like the jefferson cipher i know he was into like codes and and um you know secret messages and, and stuff like that I, I was just wondering if that's part of your like treasure hunting thing or, or isn't it, I mean, well, it could be like a religious thing too. I don't know. We have the, the most interesting conversations in here. Like, you never know what we're going to be talking about. Like we might be, uh, we might be talking about art one day. We might be, uh, talking about treasure hunts. Cause I'm into that. We might be talking about aliens. We might be talking about movies. Um, we're like all over the place in here. It's fun though some point we got to talk about this heat i don't know if it's hot where you guys are but like, man it is like i've got a fan on and i don't like to put the fan on because it blows my art all over the place and, and stuff but i've got a fan on in here i got the ac going and it's still warm it feels like florida all right so because this isn't um you know like taped down i'm gonna try and see if i can get some of that Powder off. There we go. Clean that up later. All right. So we got kind of a cool tone, I guess. Kind of like just blend that in. This is going to be a messy one. I can tell already because I'm not familiar with it. So like it's going to take me a little while to get used to this. All right. So the the reason why I did that is like I want to try this cool effect after some more bourbon. So I have this acetone here, and I've had it for a while. I've used it for a couple of other things, but I've seen where people spray it on canvas, and I kind of want this at an angle so we can let gravity work for us. I don't know if this is going to spray well, but I just kind of want to see if it creates this. Let me move my drink so that I don't get acetone all in my drink. Yeah, there we go. Looks like you need a lot of it, but you see how it's kind of making things run a little bit. I don't know. I might have to tinker with that a little bit. So let that sit for a minute. All right. So that didn't work exactly the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. I was just kind of curious. Tinker with that. That's cool. It's like a poor man's uh, fixing, honestly. It kind of locks, locks that charcoal in. Like I'm barely getting any on my uh, hand. That's cool. All right, well, that was fun. So what I was hoping is to create more splotches like this, but I think what I need is like a squirt gun um, before I try that again. So what happens if I come back over this? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna get into like actually drawing the horse, cause like, my tests and stuff kind of worked a little bit, but 
not exactly the way I wanted it to. So can I still blend this? Yeah. Cool. This is fun. It's fun for me. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's boring to you guys. Maybe you're like, well, I thought you already knew all this stuff. I should have done some tests before I did this. But so that's pretty cool. What else do I want to try? Um, let me try to see what happens if I try to lift up some of this stuff. All right, so you have to apply a little bit of pressure on that part. It is neat. Yeah. Get some uh, stuff going in here, and then I'm going to try to do my eraser effect, see if that lifts it up. such a satisfying sound i don't know if you guys can hear that or not but just the scraping oh. that's so cool oh, this sound of like charcoal scraping across this canvas it sounds good all right let me blend that in because it's a little rough looking Looks like it blends well, which I'm happy about. Still leaves kind of like this uh, dotted kind of almost like a half tone. Like if you guys remember the old um, magazines and newspapers, everything was shaded with half tones. That's what it kind of looks like. Uh, what he thought was most important words attributed to Jesus. And oh, that's interesting. So he's like a like a biblical scholar. So so if I'm hearing this right, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, so you're saying Thomas Jefferson went through the Christian Bible and extracted what he thought was the most important teachings of Jesus and uh, kind of compiled his own Bible? Is that what you're hearing? What, what you're saying? Kind of like, a, um, like an abridged, uh, curated version of the Bible, I guess, is what you're saying? I don't want to put words in your mouth, so correct me if I'm wrong. All right, so now that I got some of this in here, I'm kind of curious. Yeah, so it lifts right up. Cool. I can create art with this. All right, I'm happy. I, I, I was a little bit nervous at first because I've never done this, but I feel like I can create a cool-looking horse out of... Um, out of this canvas board and again you know like there's no real need to use canvas board but canvas board you can just kind of like frame and put up on the wall i mean you know when you have paper you you basically have to find uh, a backing board for it anyway Just creating some tone here. It's not sp it's supposed to look like a horse yet. Just you know the process. Basically, figuring out where everything is. I think this is an Arabian horse. Um, I'm not. I'm not all that great on uh, the different breeds, but that's my understanding. Um, it's basically white. Uh, it's got like some black on its nose. Um, it's got the facial shape of an Arabian horse. I think. If you see this and you're a horse expert and um, it doesn't look like an Arabian to you, make sure you leave a comment and let me know what kind of horse it does look like. I need to do a saddlebred at some point because they have an interesting uh, head shape. Well, fun fact, uh, William Shatner is really into like saddlebred horses. Sometimes he, uh, he comes out here to Kentucky and... I don't know if he actually competes, but he participates in some of the horse shows sometimes. Like, he'll go out there. Like, he won't, he doesn't ride a horse, but he does the uh, carts. I mean, the guy's pretty old. But, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's done a few things. Like, uh, the World Equestrian Games 2010, I think, is, uh, he was in the opening ceremonies of that. Um, that was nearby.
Oh, hi, how is Zella? Yeah, um, I'm uh, I'm attempting to do charcoal on a canvas board. So like, uh, I've never done um, a charcoal drawing on canvas board. Uh, this is new to me. Um, and I'm just kind of like experimenting um, and, and kind of getting a feel for it. It is a little bit different, but it's familiar. Like the texture is, is strange. It, it feels different, but the it seems like all the techniques work the same. It doesn't feel like I'm in completely unfamiliar territory. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing some tests, having a chat with, uh, trusted living who's, uh, is telling me all about the, um, the Jefferson Bible. This is fun. It's a great way to spend a Friday night. It's just so weird listening to this, uh, scrape across the, uh, canvas board. I don't know. Like I've seen some other people do this and, um, I knew it could kind of be done, but like, uh, Definitely weird. But it's fun. I like it. I like working on larger paper or larger canvas too. So like um, usually uh, I mentioned earlier, usually I do like nine by 12 just because like that's the paper I've got. Um, this, uh, I think it's 11 by 14. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, if I'm not right, I'm sorry. But I think this is 11 by 14, which is gives me more room. And uh, I think that's kind of cool. At this point, I'm just kind of feeling my way around the canvas. I'm not totally sold on the proportions of this horse yet, but I'm working on it. I have to hold it down because I don't have this tape down. So that's another thing I'm not used to. Ordinarily, probably if I was working with like canvas board or canvas or something, I would probably try to do this on an easel, but I don't have my camera set up for that. I need to, like in the future, if I do something like this, I think I'll do it on an easel and take the time to kind of set up the camera and everything ahead of time. I don't know, baby steps. So I'm going to, just because I want this to be dark around it. Oh, that's nice. Look how dark that is. That's cool. All right, I'm sold. I'm going to get, I'm going to do this more often in the future. Like when I do a, a charcoal thing, I'm going to look at that. It just lays down so nicely. I love it. Sorry, I get a little excited about these uh, experiments when they work out. That just looks nice. All right, I'm going to try to blend this with my hand. And then I'm also going to try to blend it with the brush and just see what's the difference. So I got this makeup brush I mentioned earlier. Oh, cool. Oh, the brush is nice. I'm going to end up with charcoal everywhere. I can tell already. Um, cool. Yeah. So I, I tried it. So I'm on the East coast or like not, I'm not on the East coast, but I'm in the Eastern time zone. Um, so I, you know, like a lot of my viewers are kind of um, in Western time zones. So they're a little bit later, so I don't want to go too early for them, but I don't want to go too late for myself. So it's at, it's eight o'clock that I start this thing. Um, and that's a lot of charcoal. All right, I'm going to just have to clean the table later. I was trying to avoid making a big mess, but it's just going to happen. Because like, I don't know, I put down too much charcoal there. That looks nice though. Look at that. That is a nice contrast over there. Sorry. I get a little excited about these things. And it, it blends so smoothly. I didn't know ch uh, um, charcoal on canvas board would work this well. I love the texture of it. I love how this is working. I don't think, I'm trying to think like, would this work the same on paper? And I'm just like excited for no reason or, uh, I'm sold. This is a, 
This is all because it's canvas board. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it's a convenient time for you. Um, it uh, it works out well for my myself as well. I thought I might vary it up um, where I do some in the evenings and then some in the daytime, but I haven't done that yet. Maybe in the future. I didn't intend for this to be so black, but I really like that. A white horse with such a black uh, background. Let's see how that blends. So this side's going to be a little bit lighter than the other, I can see, but I'm cool with that. Yeah, that blends well. Yeah, it's such a mess. I love it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so I thought I'd, I I would um, start up some streams uh, during the afternoon just to see if like, I don't know, like different different people watch at different times and stuff. But I'm pretty committed to these evening streams, especially on Fridays, because uh, Fridays are Fridays are my fun day where I can just like relax and just have fun with it. That looks cool. I'm going to go ahead and kind of get some a main going here. So basically a main that kind of comes down and kind of frames the face. I want this to be kind of soft around these edges. Yeah, I, I really like this. Um, I like how this uh, background works. My earlier test didn't work out so well. I'm going to try that again, actually. So I have some, um, now that I've got more charcoal down, I've got some, um, trying to get rid of some of that. So I've got some uh, acetone here. I wanted to create a cool little like texture effect, but it's not working very well. I think I need a squirt bottle instead of spray bottle. Like basically this is just kind of working almost like cheap fix it. It's, it's not, it's not, uh, it's spraying instead of like squirting and I, it's not creating the cool little, all right, I give up on that one. I'll try that again in the future. Um, but what I was hoping for is like, I don't know, you see in like watercolor pictures where you kind of get this cascading effect, but it does kind of work like fix it too. That's kind of cool. So like, here, here's a clean finger, right? So like I go over with that part that's right, a little bit comes off, but not as bad as it was before. So that's kind of interesting to me. Um, just like a little interesting thing. I, I don't know, like, I don't know why I'm starting with the neck, but I, I just kind of like the shadows through here and stuff. It kind of defines the face. Just, I just like the sound of that scraping across the board, too. You don't get that with paper so much. But it's kind of got, it's got some structure in his mouth where there's kind of like a curve through here. It kind of comes down. And then this part is where it becomes like the actual mouth part. Kind of kind of darken that in. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's probably a bad idea to experiment in public, um, you know, because, like, you make a mistake and stuff, but, like, you can't really, can't really go back and everybody sees it, but I, I don't, I don't mind. Like, the people who watch this are, are pretty cool, so, like, I, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're pretty forgiving. Ugh, that's... So like if I make a mistake and um, while experimenting or something, I, I don't feel like people are going to uh, beat me up too much for it. Like I've had some, um, I don't know, I've, I've done some pretty bad things on, like not bad drawing, uh, bad things, but like bad drawings on this uh, channel and, and people still come back. 
you know, like it really is like a hit or miss, you know, sometimes things go really well and picture comes out looking great. And other times I, I do something and it just, no matter how much I try to fix it or, or, uh, work with it or something, um, it's, it's just like a no win situation. And, you know, I, I think people are pretty forgiving. Basically, I got charcoal all over me now. I feel like if it was paper, more of that would have stuck to it and not just kind of come off like that. <laughs> See, so this, this eye over here is completely covered by mane. So let me go ahead and put that in. And then I'll come over here and kind of like work on where I think an eye should be. And again, I'm just using this like vine charcoal. I said stick charcoal earlier, but most people call it vine charcoal. Which I kind of gotten in the habit recently of using that to do my sketching. And then I'll come back with like block charcoal and pencils and stuff to kind of work with it a little bit after the fact. All right, so somewhere right around here, I think. I think I want my eye. I'm just going to kind of block that in, come back and refine this a little bit later on. But I think that's about right. And so I got to maybe keep a towel or something to clean my hands so that I don't get muck all over this. The basic shape of an eye. Yeah, kind of like this little black, almost like a, a spot blaze, but it's black. It's weird. Put that in there. So this is going to be pretty soft until I get to the point where I want to kind of work on some definition and stuff. Hey, who's good do? Happy Friday. I'm getting chocolate all over me. So this ear, got a lot of shadow in it. Work with that. And then and it comes up like this a little bit. So, yeah, um, usually I ask you guys, like, uh, if you have any weekend plans, and I completely forgot. Basically, I'm sweltering over here. I don't know what it's like in your guys' neck of the woods and stuff, but, man, it is super hot here. Like, oddly hot. Like, uh, here in Kentucky, it's like 100 degrees. We usually don't get up that high. I know that it's probably, like, mean to uh, people who deal with uh, 100 degrees every day, but we're not used to it. It's been super muggy, too, because it, like, stormed um, yesterday. Hey, because I can. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me on this Friday night. I mean, so far, it looks like a pretty cool cartoonish horse. Like, just put a, like, <laughs> a little smile on him and call him Ben. I think we can get a little bit more real out, uh, realism out of it. So, I've got charcoal all over my hands, but I want to emphasize that's more me messing around than the actual canvas board itself. Like, if you're, uh, if you're, um, debating whether or not you want to attempt this and you look at my hands and you just see the big old mess and stuff, don't, don't not do canvas board just because I'm being messy about it. It doesn't have to be this messy. I was trying something. Um, I think, I think you can work with, and like, you're going to get some charcoal on your hands just working with charcoal, but um, it doesn't have to be like a big old mess. Like I've got charcoal basically everywhere here. It doesn't have to be like that is my point. Like if you're avoiding charcoal for that reason. Cool. 
this is fun. Now, that said, I enjoy making this. To me, that, that is part of the process. Like, I enjoy... Like, different people, like, are different ways about it, but for me, the messier the art, the more fun it is. Get some shadow up there above the nostril. So the nostril's going to be right here. I kind of, like, blurred it out, but that'll be more defined. All right, cool. And then through here, kind of want that to be a little bit shaded. So my process here um, is basically to kind of keep everything soft at first, right? So like, even if even if it's not really meant to be um, like blended out, I'll, I'll go ahead and blend it out anyway. So like, just everything's going to be like super soft focus, and then I'll worry about coming back and, and putting in like detail over that. But right now I'm just kind of working on like shadows and. Probably here in a few, I'll come in and worry about highlights and, and so on. But I'm not worried about that right now. I'm basically worried about the shape of the head, um, making sure that, you know, I know where everything is. And um, to me, that, that kind of is mostly about defining shadows at first. I won't worry about other things. So just out of curiosity, I am kind of curious. How does this work with like lifting stuff up? Now I did apply that acetone. I don't know if that's going to lock some of this charcoal in so that I can't just lift it up, but it does look like it lifts up pretty well. Let me try a newer eraser. Like this one's still got like a lot of sticking powder to it. So that's kind of cool. Sorry, I, I haven't been paying attention to the chat. Cool. Yeah, so it still lifts up pretty well, even though I kind of like ground it into that board. Um, but it's still soft. I like that. Yeah. Cool. All right. So let's see if I can get some finer. Yeah, so it takes a little bit of scraping. But again, I think that's more like the amount of charcoal I put down and how I put the charcoal down rather than the canvas itself. You are dealing with some texture here that you wouldn't find in paper. Um, so that that's something to note and you have to kind of just deal with it. But I think it's working pretty well. Oh, my nose is starting to itch. That happens every time I have charcoal all over my fingers. I'm going to go up to scratch my nose. I'm going to end up with like charcoal all over my face. Never fails. Every time I work in charcoal, my nose starts itching. That's funny. Get some highlights on his uh, his mane going. And really this whole adding shadow and then lifting it up to create highlights and stuff, you'll probably, like you could, I, I don't know if I'm going to, but you could go through that process like multiple times. Um, I'm just having fun with this picture. I don't. I don't particularly care if it turns out perfect or not. But if I did, you know, I might repeat this process several times and create like a bunch of different layers of kind of a push and pull of shadow and little highlights. I don't like that this isn't taped down. Like I did that on purpose um, because I wanted to like lift it up and kind of treat it like... Um, like it, it was on an easel at certain points, but now I'm kind of regretting that. See how well that lifted up? So it really depends on like what part of this picture you're um you're working on. So like there, because I blended it in, it's hard to lift. So I'll have to remember that in the future. Save the blending for after the highlights part. That's my lesson for today. All right, let me go back here and kind of Put this back in. I kind of blended that out. As you can see, I'm kind of like eyeballing all my proportions and kind of guessing at things. And, you know, it's not perfect, but it usually works out.
sometimes I end up with like a horse that has like too long of a nose or too short of a mouth or the, the uh, eyes in a weird place, something like that. But I think, I, I think this one's probably okay. Oh, there was some highlight over here at the end of the mouth. Yeah, cool. See, that lifts up perfectly. I like that. And, you know, if I can't get the highlights in with the eraser, I do have some uh, white charcoal over here. I'll come back and just pencil those in. But there's some white here at the end of his snout. I don't know. Is, it, is that the right term for it, snout? I'm around horses all the time, and I still don't know the right terms. Sorry, I'm kind of lost in my drawing here. I haven't been paying attention to the chat. It is kind of weird, like the eraser on the uh, on the um, canvas board. I'm going to try. Let's see what happens. All right, I don't like that. I, I never like the hard charcoal uh, pencils. They're, I I barely ever use them. I don't know what they're for. Um, they're probably for the sketch part, but I've moved on to like using Vine for that. Okay, so this is interesting. So this works, the charcoal pencil, but I don't think I like it. It's not as cool as the uh, vine. I like the vine better. But this works. Thanks, uh, Huskadu. Yeah, so this pencil works, but I don't like it. Just, I don't know. Your your experience may vary, but it doesn't feel as nice as using the vine charcoal on the canvas board, which is odd because I do use the pencil a lot when I'm drawing on paper. This is this is a fun experiment. Like, I, you guys may not agree, but um, I think... Uh, Um, you guys may not, uh, agree, but this is, um, this is, uh, this is fun. Like, you may not agree if you went and, uh, tried this yourself. Let's see. Like, you might try the pencil and just be like, oh, I love the pencil. I don't know what Jeremy was talking about. You know, your experience may vary. Let's see. Let's make this really dark over here just to get some contrast. So what I like about canvas board is I, I think, like, when it's all said and done, um, one could... Um, varnish this and just kind of hang it up on the wall, not even like put it behind glass or anything like that, which I'm not going to do with this picture, but I think that's kind of, um, it's nice to have that option. And then also, you know, lately I've been working with uh, charcoal and then applying color later. I think that um, this would be a, a good, um, Good way to do that. Start with the, like a canvas board and then maybe uh, spray it down with the fixant. I just love how that blends. Look at that. That is like a nice deep shadow. Makes a mess, but I like that. Super dark. Cool. I did want this to be kind of shadow through here cool. oh hey Robert how's it going
again, there's not any detail yet. Um, it's still a super light, but not light, but you know what I'm saying. Super soft. Let's see what happens if I come in here and try to add some main. Oh, you know what I need to uh, try? Gotta gotta check all the boxes here, guys. Uh, I need to uh, I need to try blending stump on this and see how that works out. Man, I'm gonna have to like not just wash my hands, but take a full on shower after this. I I got charcoal everywhere. I know it's gonna be on my face before this is over. Oh, I I really haven't been paying attention to the chat. Yeah, so guys, um, just to, like, I haven't really been paying attention to what people are saying, but I, I would like to remind you guys that we do have some, like, kids who come in and watch this. So, like, if you guys can keep it PG, family-friendly, I would really appreciate it. I know my own um, my own niece comes in and watches sometimes, and, you know, she's not very old. Um, just, uh, like, I don't, I don't want to have to, like... I don't know, sensor or anything like that, or like put the hammer down, but it, it is a, not a family show, but it is a, uh, and it's not an educational show either. Um, I am drinking bourbon, so, you know, somewhat for adults, but um, yeah, we do have some, some kids that come through every now and then just to, uh, just to let you guys know in case you didn't know. Like, I think some of the, uh, I think some of the regulars are actually kids. Might have to, might have to make Lazello a mod so that she can just be, uh, be kind of like policing the chat when I'm not paying attention. But I know you guys mean well, I'm just, in, in, in case you guys didn't know. Because I know that some of the other channels you guys hang out on, they have kind of like a, uh, like a more loose policy, but also it's almost all adults watching those shows. They're not, they don't have the kids that come through like I do. Maybe if I drew better or something, like I, I would get like a like an older audience. But right now, it, it's mostly kids who watch this show, looking for art advice. I guess. I don't know. I don't know why anybody watches this show, to be honest. I just come in here and draw my pictures. So... Oh. Usually when I'm uh, blending on paper using my hands, um, I'm not worried about getting like friction burn or anything like that. I can't tell you like trying to blend with your fingers on uh, this canvas board, you do feel the burn a little bit. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh... It's just one one more thing, you know, like, I don't know if I'm going to be creating a lot of drawings like this uh, on canvas board, but it is, uh, it's just, you know, like one more thing, add it to the tool belt. I know that it would be easier to hang this up on the wall. Like, literally, you could just, like, uh, put a pin in the back and just hang it up without ha even having to worry about finding a frame or anything like that. Great. I like it. All right. So there is kind of like a pretty pronounced shadow through here because of that bone structure. Or I don't know, like, if this part right here is actual bone or if that's just um, like a tendon or something. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks, Lozella. 
So I need to, uh, even though I draw horses all the time and I'm around horses all the time, I really need to like actually pick up a book on like horse anatomy. There is something that causes a ridge through here. I don't know if it's a tendon or if it's, um, oh, that's what I wanted to try. So instead of using my fingers, I wanted to try a blending stump and just see how that goes. Because usually the, yeah, that's nice. Sorry. <laughs> I'm enjoying this too much. Now that works just as well as it does on paper. It creates this like nice little smoothness. I, you know, I don't have to worry about my, my chubby little fat fingers. That works out nice. Cool. Yeah, um, I'm the first to admit I get a little um, too excited when something works. I don't know. If you're not having fun, you're like doing it wrong. Um, I, I think that uh, you're supposed to have fun doing this. Like, if it's not fun, why why bother? Like, if it's your, your, your job, I mean, you know, <laughs> you suck it up and just get the work done. But if it's not your job or it, there's no reason why you can't enjoy your job. Um, I do think that people should enjoy doing art. Now, that's just like broadly speaking. I know that people do art for different reasons. Like uh, some people do art as therapy and they're not having a good time. And that's kind of the whole point. Uh, hey, if that's you, that's great. I'm just saying that I and I have a lot of fun when I'm uh, creating art. Let's see, uh, that was a mistake. Let's lift that back up. You guys ever like go to draw something or um, just really do anything online and uh, or like anything in the real world and um, you make a mistake and, and you want to just kind of control Z it? I do that all the time. Like I just want to undo something that I can't undo because it's the real world. That's funny. Just kind of want to revert it. nice maybe a bit too much so like if you have too much on your blending stump just wipe it on your hands and keep going um you can lift some of this up with an eraser but so i probably asked earlier and just didn't even check any of you guys have uh hey brom dog welcome back Another self-portrait. Ah, that's a good one. Yep, I am actually a horse pretending to be a human. I'd rather be a horse, to be honest. It'd be awesome being a horse. Just run around the field all day. Yeah, you, you won't catch me complaining about that. I would love to be a horse. Let's see. All right, so there was some shadow through here. I just like how soft the shadows look here. Might have to get a new board and a tabletop after this. There is some markings through here. Just kind of nudge that in. There is kind of a ridge that comes around the brow. Honestly, drawing, I, I know that they call it anatomy or whatever. It's basically topography. <laughs> yeah, this blending stump is uh, working really well. It is wearing down the blending stump because it's got that texture to it. But, I mean, blending stumps are cheap. Oh, that's okay, Toxes. Um, you know, I, I'm going to do these things whether people show up or not. So, like, I, I tell everybody, you know, make it to the ones you can. And, you know, if you've got something else going on, I am not going to be offended. If, uh, if like, as long as it helps when there's one person in here um, so that I have somebody to talk to. 
um, because it it is sort of awkward talking to yourself. But hey, if that's the way it is, I mean, I'll talk to myself. I don't care. I've got I've got dogs over here. I'll talk to the dogs. I'll talk to my drawing. Like, hey, horse, how you doing? Are you happy to be sprung into existence on this canvas board? How's that feel? But yeah, no, you guys, you guys should never really worry about offending me because like, um, I know people are busy and I mean, I reserve the right to be busy and miss my own stream. So like, uh, I'm going to try to do these every Tuesday and Fridays, but if I happen to miss one, cause I'm like, I don't know, I could sure use a vacation. Um, I don't want you guys to be upset. So there's a wisp of hair that kind of comes down and then there's another one that kind of comes down over here. That one kind of comes up here and connects here. I'll make that look better. I do like working on the larger uh, board here as well, because like, I don't know, I'm not so worried about drawing like little minute details. Because, you know, if you see it from a distance and it looks good, then your job's done. I think I've mentioned before, I don't even hold, so I used to hold pencils like this. I don't do it anymore. I, I treat it more like a paintbrush. That's definitely because I started drawing. All right, I'm going to move up to this ear because this ear is definitely not very well defined yet. I kind of want it to come down further than I had it. Darken this in. Give it more of a straight line on this side. Bring it back around. Around here. I'd make all of this dark up here. Kind of sucks to have to hold this down. The canvas board seems to make it softer than it would be if it was on paper. I don't know if that's just my imagination or not. Also, a little tip for you guys, when you're working with charcoal pencils and you're just like laying down like a lot of charcoal, try to use it on the side like I'm doing here because that in effect sharpens it. So like if I wanted to come in and add some detail or something, I now have this super sharp uh, point. It's almost like sanding it on a sandpaper or sharpening it on sandpaper. Just use the side of it. And then you're basically sharpening your pencil as you go. There you go, that's a better looking ear, I think. And I can bring this shadow down a little bit. Move to this. Haven't been on vacation since uh, 27. It's been a while for me too. Like, um, you know, I am uh, self-employed. Uh, I do freelance um, software development in addition to these uh, drawing stuff that I do. So I am always busy and I've always got somebody who needs something from me. Uh, so it is very hard for me to take vacations. Uh, my vacations are like, well, all right, let me steal a day for myself and I will go somewhere and do something. But the whole traditional vacation of like, I don't know, hopping on a plane and going somewhere for a week or whatever. I ain't seen that in a minute. It's been a while. Not since I had a traditional job has it been like that. But I'm not going to complain about it because I actually like... I actually like my lifestyle. I kind of... 
make my own hours, do what I want. I have responsibilities, but I get to uh, decide when I meet those responsibilities. Alright, so obviously eyeballs are around, so let me kind of define the shape here a little bit. I can do this in several different ways, but since I already have this pencil in my hand, I'm going to try to do it. So trying to keep my hand out of the mess is, is a little bit challenging. Trying to reach across this. There we go. I do, um, I agree with you, Lazella. I do think that the proportions came out well on this, and I have to say that is that is partly luck. Um and only a small part, like, actual skill. Like, I, I think I got lucky on this one. I like this eyeball. Sorry. Sometimes I get excited about my own stuff. I like, um, I like the shading above it. So, one challenge here is that there are some, like, little white wisps of, uh, like, eyelashes that come over it. I forgot to, uh, Got to get those in somehow. It's just kind of cool how like a picture develops. So as you can see, we're slowly starting to move from like everything being super soft to like actually adding some detail in and things becoming more defined. That's just the process. Um, it's kind of fun. It's cool. I like going back and watching my own time lapses. Like, I don't think I'll ever not do time lapses. Like, I know that people have different styles of uh, videos that they do, and some of them are like, I don't know, they'll like take a clip of them like doing one little mark or something like that. I, I think I'm always going to do the time lapses or at least do the time lapses for myself because, you know, like it's it's a lot like people, um, I don't know, practice for sports. Like if you wanted to, like I, I don't golf. Um, yeah, I have golfed, but I'm not very good at it. But you know how like somebody might videotape their golfing just to uh, uh, make improvements? I do that with the uh, the time lapses. So I go back and I look look at them, and I'm like, oh, I could have done that differently, or I could have done that differently. It's um it's part of the training process, I guess. I like to call it training because then I feel like I'm actually doing something, <laughs> and not just mesmerized by the process. Ninety six degrees. I think it got up to 103 here, by the way. It's not it's not a competition. We're all suffering here. But um it is unusual for it to be 103 in this uh in this state. And I am feeling it. And it's not it, it's not it's not a pleasant heat either. It literally feels like the heater is on. Like I am enjoying this bourbon just because it's cold. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, uh, Ozello. It is, um, it's a useful tool, you know. And, you know, like, you, I mean, you're making the video. This is why I like doing this on YouTube. Like, I honestly don't think that I would have made any, is uh, the kind of progress that I've made in my drawings uh, if I wasn't doing the YouTube streams or just YouTube videos in general, like recording them. Like, I think that, like, if you're out there and you are trying to be a better artist, um, regardless of whether you put this stuff on YouTube or not. I respect that not everybody's into that, um, but you should, you know, you should give it a shot. It, it's, it's kind of fun. But even if you don't, there is, a, I have found that there is a benefit in recording um, your process regardless. See, this one kind of comes down. 
it's so weird because you do still end up with these like this texture so you can't just get like a, a line I'm kind of glad I did this. I was kind of curious how it would work. Uh, it was between this and trying a painting, which I feel like I need to get back to. It's been a while since I've done any paintings. Painting's not my strong suit. Something I need to practice more. But um, I'm glad I did this instead because this is kind of fun. All right, so I am going to test now to see how white goes over. I'm just going to put my pinky finger down to give me some see if I can get some white eyelashes in here. So you're not going to get super level of detail painting on canvas, so I just want to throw that out there. Um, you probably want a larger canvas than not, just so that you get the appearance of detail. Yeah, so those eyelashes there, it's just basically like almost like a white smudge, just because... It's not like I can draw a perfect line. Kind of cool with some little highlights there. That looks like a realistic eye. Dang. I love this. This is cool. Add some highlight down here on the bottom. That actually looks really cool. Like it's a little blurry on the screen. Um, but I, when I take a picture of it, maybe you guys can see that level of detail. Let's see if I can get some... some um, hairs in here, just the impression of hairs at least. I like that. That's a nice eyeball. <laughs> hey kid. Yeah, so the um, what we're working on today, kid, is uh, I am drawing on a canvas board. So this isn't even paper, it's, it's actually a uh, canvas. Um, and I'm testing this one because like, well, I haven't ever done it. So it's fun. Um, and two, I think it might be kind of cool to actually draw on charcoal on like a, like a proper canvas. Um, that, I think that's the next step after this. Like this is kind of like a proof of concept before moving on to that. Let's see, it is difficult to erase after you've blended it in just, just for reference. Well, I don't know, some parts, some parts pick up pretty easy. Pretty happy with that eyeball. I kind of want to like not screw up that eyeball because it looks so good. All right, so I'm going to move on down to, I got to do the snout. Don't let me forget to do the snout, guys. I'm, I'm going to end up with charcoal all over my face. All right, so there is some black splotches through here. I don't know, like, what causes this, but dude's got, like, it's not a mole, but it kind of reminds me of a mole. Beauty mark. There you go. Horses have beauty marks. Why not? So I think that's pretty good. Let me move on to this uh, nose because I think that that's the next detailed part. So if I run out of time, I can just come back and do the hair or whatever later. But I feel like if you guys are going to watch me, I should get the important parts done first. Well, how are we doing on time? Oh, we're only in the RN. That's good. Like on Tuesday, I lost track of the time. I know that like a lot of people have to work on weekdays and stuff like that. And here I was like going on two and a half hours. I probably would have taken it to three hours if I didn't realize, oh crap. What kind of dog is that? <laughs> it's a tall dog. <laughs> you guys have some of the best jokes. I love you. Uh, like, it's just, you guys are great. 
Every one of you guys is a comedian. This is um uh Equestris Caninus. I just made that up. That sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Equestris Caninus transforms your dog into a horse. I feel like every Harry Potter spell is just Pig Latin. Donkey dogs. <laughs> That's good. Oh, man. You guys are on a roll tonight. Donkey dogs. You're a donkey dog. He didn't like that. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Man, I hope I, I know that other parts of the country are way warmer than it is here. Um, I I hope everybody's staying safe. Like, uh, if if it does get too hot, make sure you you guys seek some sort of like, you know, remedy or something like that. There's only so much the human body can take. So be safe. You know, like every every time they have one of these like heat waves or whatever, um, you know, some people die. It's it's not good. I want all you guys to stay safe. If uh if you don't have air conditioning, I'm sure there's um there are places that you can go. Like, I don't know, people people don't go to libraries enough anymore. You can go to a public library, you can go to the supermarket, cool down somehow. Go go take a cold bath. I'm only saying that because, like, in this room, even with, like, a fan on, the air conditioning on, it's, it's not pleasant. It feels like the um, the air conditioner is blowing out hot air. So muggy, too. I went to an, uh, an outdoor uh, movie last night, and uh, it was just, like, sweat. Nothing but sweat gross hmm sorry to hear that bro hopefully you can work things out with them Might have to make up rules about like what kind of commentary is okay and what's not. I'll try to figure that out. Probably full of macaroni and cheese. Yeah, that's what people need is like little kitty bowls. Got one for the dogs, but they don't like it. They won't use it. Right, so this part here. Comes around. So this should be in shadow, but this part is not horse here. So let me darken this up and kind of make that distinction. Bring that all the way out the edge. I do like how it it blends so super super smooth. Like I want to do like a night sky in charcoal on canvas board, like some sort of night um, landscape. I think that is a good use of this, or maybe it's just this charcoal. This is like a super soft charcoal. I wonder what the backside of this. Sorry, I'm gonna look at the backside of this real quick. Oh, it's surprisingly clean. Huh. Imagine that. That's amazing. I would have thought that, like, the entire backside of this would be covered in, like, uh, charcoal, but it's not. I like how 
like a little splotch here and just kind of put that in. All right. I need to blend out this nose a little bit. I feel like we're getting there, but it's not there yet. In terms of light value, there's like a lot of dark in here. Um, that's the thing with these, like, I, I'm pretty sure this is an Arabian horse, so I'm just going to call it an Arabian horse. Um, Arabian horses are typically white. I don't know if they're always white. I'd have to look that up. Um, but they certainly have, like, these really um, dark, dark noses at the um, tip. Most horses do, but, like, it really shows up on these uh, Arabian horses because they are, you know, white. There's going to be some shadow that comes down through there. All right, so this will be darker through here. And then there is a hard line through here. Shadow through here. Sorry, I'm kind of lost in my art today. I feel like I've been neglecting the chat. If, uh, if there's anything that you guys want to call my attention to, you let me know. Meanwhile, I'm just drawing a horse. So this kind of comes around through here. It looks pretty good. I like the markings on that. It is difficult, I've seen, to uh, get really, really heavy detail. And that's why I said maybe this is probably best for, like, a larger canvas. Like, you're not going to get kind of, like, the fine lines that you might get with, like, a mechanical pencil or, or something of that nature. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about because I don't know how, to, how else to explain it. Like, you can get detail in there, but you're constantly dealing with the texture of this. Like, you probably can't see it on camera because my camera sucks. I'm using my phone camera. Um, but you're going to end up with, like, kind of like this halftone effect. And you just kind of have to deal with that and work around it and stuff. I mean, it's not it's not a deal breaker. I think it, looks, it still looks really nice, but um, it is just something, you know. Like, if, if you're used to uh, doing pencil drawings, like, with a mechanical pencil or something like that, I don't worry about it because, like, it's hard to get a fine point on, like, charcoal anyway. I'm just saying. Just pointing out that it is, uh, it is a little bit different. Let's see. I feel like this is all too dark through here. I'm going to try to lift some of that up. I like that lifts up pretty well. Then I kind of lost my edge there. Get some of these things out of my way. And bring that down. It's so hard to get the, you know, the, the jowl. Whether it's a dog, whether it's a human, whether it's a horse, that that always seems to be like the tough part for me. But this kind of works. Yeah, it mostly works. It's not perfect, but I can live with it. All right, and then this here should kind of come to a finer point. Let's see if I can lift some of this up. This shouldn't be so dark to here. I'm going to lift some of that up. So I probably asked this earlier, like, what movies are even in theaters? 
Uh, oh, Oppenheimer. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Sorry, answer my own question. Um, I know this may be a weird question, but what do you, has anybody seen the Barbie movie? <laughs> like, it, may, it seems weird because I'm asking, but like, I heard it was doing well. So I was kind of curious, like, if anybody's seen it and is it worth the, uh, worth the time for me to see it? I don't know. Like, I never played with Barbies as a kid, obviously. Um, so I don't know if I would enjoy it, but. Well, I guess I shouldn't say obviously. Some some people play with Barbies. Nothing wrong with that. That are guys. Some women played with G.I. Joe's. Okay, I'm liking how this is turning out so far. Mole means... I had no idea. I did not know that. Getting an education tonight. Oh, that scene in Austin Powers. What are you guys even talking about in here? All right. You guys are going to have to uh, play nice together. I'm going to have to start moderating my chat, I guess. You guys are talking about the mole on the horse. It's just a, like a little mark here. It's not a, it's not a big deal. Bye, Husker. Enjoy your uh, weekend. I like this this um this this snout. I think it probably I could touch it up and it could be a little bit better, but I like how it's looking. Get some uh get some highlight coming around the side here. And there's a little bit of a highlight here. Not sure what you're talking about, Rome. Sure that means something. more highlight coming in down here especially on this side I keep putting my hands in this stuff so I don't know why you guys are talking about moles there is so I'm, I'm I commented that this little patch of black fur here is a mole but I don't even know if that's actually true so
again, some of the strangest conversations in here sometimes, but that's okay. Just over here drawing pictures. <laughs> it's all good. Get some detail going through here. Like, I, I feel like if you're, um, yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I am distracted. Okay. So like, um, whatever, whatever you guys are chatting about, I'll, uh, I'll go back and read everything later and kind of sort it all out. In the meantime, I'm just going to. Continue working on this picture. I'll try to just, you know, kind of self-moderate a little bit. I don't know uh, what the issue is, but yeah, I am a little bit distracted, guys. I do apologize about that. Just drawing these pictures, thinking about the weekend. Um, one of these days, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get somebody to uh, come in and be a wrench and Kind of keep track of things for me so that I don't have to uh, worry about it while I'm drawing. But yeah, just in general. So like I, I really don't know what you guys are talking about, but just just in general. So this is, um, you know, it is an art show. Um, I, I don't want people to feel like they can't have conversations about the things that they want to talk about and stuff like that. But it's primarily an art show. Um, I am pretty adamant, like, look, there are kids who watch this show, so you guys do have to kind of self-police a bit. Um, you know, like anything that is, um, that you wouldn't want your own kids seeing or whatever, kind of just be adults about it. Um, like, I, I can't control who watches my show, so uh, obviously there are going to be some young adults in here who are interested in art. And I encourage that. I, I want that because, like, I want to, you know, feel like I'm doing something useful here and passing off things that I've learned to uh, other generations and stuff. That That's, that's cool for me. So, so you can't just talk about whatever. Mostly... Uh, Mostly just kind of keep it clean, be respectful. Now, as far as everybody getting along, you know, I can't, I can't control whether or not you guys like each other and stuff, but I would hope that you guys uh, get along for the most part. Otherwise, that, that would be, that would suck. Um, but I can't, I can't enforce that. I can't enforce things like, um, you know, be, like keep it, kind of keep it around PG-13. Probably. Yeah. I think that's a good guideline. If you wouldn't see it in a PG-13 movie, I don't want it in here. Please. And that's me asking nicely. Because I know sometimes, like, I mean, it has to be PG-13 or else uh, I'll get myself in trouble because sometimes I might I might say a bad word here, like, oh, shit, or something like that. So, I, uh, I, if I, if it was like, um, if it was PG, I might get in trouble myself. But I, I'm confident you guys can, uh, you guys can be good. For the most part, you guys have been in the past. I don't know what the friction is today, but maybe it's Friday. I like this mouth. I'm, I like how it's turning out. I like that I'm taking this white um, pencil to it and creating like some little highlights and stuff. I didn't know that that was going to work so well, but that is a good technique. Just to let you guys know. If you guys care about the art, like if you guys are here to watch the uh, picture being drawn or whatever, I, I am over here drawing a picture. <laughs> Thank you, Marvel. I appreciate that. I like drawing horses. Horses are fun. Horses are beautiful animals. They have a, like a lot of personality in them. Um, 
they're all over the country. So I feel like most of you guys are probably exposed to horses. Maybe not as much as I have around here. Um, but, you know, I draw a lot of dogs and stuff like that. But horses are just, they're just as amazing as dogs are. They, um, they're, they're super smart. They're playful. Uh, like you can drive like any of the horse fields around. This is, this is nasty. Look at that. I love it. Um, you can drive to any of the horse fields around here and you'll see these guys out there playing in the field. Even the, uh, like the, um, the older ones, like not just the, uh, foals or whatever, but they'll, they'll play they'll like roll around on their back and get dirty and everything like that it's just kind of cute it's cute to watch but talk about personalities they have personalities if i gotta remove some of that all right let me blend some of this out but with a light touch because i kind of like how this looks Cool, Marvel. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you. You guys are... Like, all of you guys are awesome. I'm sure whatever issues you guys are working out in the chat, you guys can work through those. Because I know each and every one of you guys brings something to the table. You guys are pretty cool. Alright, so this needs... Some definition here because otherwise it's just like one big Let's do it this way I think that would come off of here actually I don't know what the new agers are using as bad words I don't know what bad words are being said in chat. Um, obviously the word gay is not bad. People like, as long as they're not using it like in a derogatory way. I just, I don't know why you guys are talking about that kind of stuff right now when I'm trying to draw a horse picture, but I don't know. I don't know what the topic got on. Can I interest you guys in a horse? <laughs> it's like, here's a beautiful horse. <laughs> I have no idea, Lorraine. Like, uh, apparently, um, the, the chat has been lively tonight. Or that's my understanding. I'll go back and I'll, I'll go back and watch the chat later and stuff. I, you know, if if something's uh, if something needs correcting, I'll work on it and stuff like that. But in the meantime, can I interest you guys in this beautiful horse drawn in charcoal? Look at this beautiful horse. Look at this line I just drew. Isn't that amazing? It's an amazing line. Swift wind. All right. See, this horse even has a name. I was going to call it Shadow Facts, but I'm biased. Actually, I don't know what horse, uh, Gan like what breed um, Gandalf had. Uh, Shadow Facts. It was a white horse, clearly, but. All right, I kind of like this. I like this entire side. This is nice. Also, I, I kind of anticipate there's going to be, like, I really, I need to get, like, a moderator or something like that to sort these things out for me while I'm drawing. But it is the internet, you know, like, people, people have conversations on the internet. You can't, can't control all of it. I just, I don't know what was said, so I don't, can't, can't do anything about it at the moment.
Well, Trusted, if, if that's the case, uh, I feel like you guys can um, just, you know, continue on and, it, you know, not worry about it. And I'll look at it later. And it's, <laughs> Would you like to see a horse being drawn? <laughs> that's all I can say. I mean, we're all adults here. Well, I hope most of us. We bring this down. I do like the contrast here. I thought trust it for her wrench. Uh a movie with She-Ra. Um the only, I don't know. The only um the only um He-Man She-Ra kind of deal that I um I know of is like the animated series on Netflix. If there's like a live action She-Ra, that'd be kind of cool. But the only one I know of is like um, the only He-Man universe uh, property that I know of is, is the uh, the show on Netflix. <laughs> Bob Ross, <laughs> I might do that. No, I you know Bob Ross is a special guy. I don't want to just steal his uh, his uh, his thing. Oh, there is a movie coming out that's kind of loosely based on Bob Ross. I don't think it's like actually a you know, biography, uh, biopic or whatever, but it's kind of loosely based on it with, um, I think Owen Wilson kind of playing a Bob Ross kind of character. I don't know when that comes out. Um, I think it's called paint. Uh, I may be wrong on that. I am looking forward to that. That looks awesome. We'll definitely watch that. I'm not Bob Ross. I'm not going to be Bob Ross. Besides, Bob Ross didn't do these kind of pictures. Uh, Bob Ross only did landscaping, as, as far as I know. Only did landscapes of uh, the Rocky Mountains and I think mostly Colorado. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Bob Ross never drew a horse. I don't know. Maybe he did. I suddenly realized I don't know enough about Bob Ross. Anybody know of any documentaries on Bob Ross that I can watch? Get a little educated. Thank you, okay, Larry. I appreciate that, man. I think it's coming together. Let's see, how are we doing on time? Okay. Yeah, I think it's coming together. Oh yeah, there was a the, the um '80s version of uh, I'm gonna get charcoal everywhere. Um, there was the '80s version of uh, Masters of the Universe. I never really liked that, and, and I was I was old enough to um to actually go and see it at the time. I think when it first came out, I didn't care for it. I I didn't think it was uh like actually a good version of the cartoon that I had watched as a kid, like the live action version. I, I didn't care for it. I mean, maybe I, maybe I was being too harsh on it or something like that. I'd have to go back and rewatch it just to see if I still feel that way. But I remember when I was younger, I, di I didn't really like that live action one with Dolph. I, I can't ever pronounce his name. Dolph Lund Lundgren. Man, they put that guy in everything back then too. Like all the action movies, like, he was in Rocky and Let's 
some definition to the hair in here. All right, let's see. Yeah, I could make some progress here, guys. I like how this is turning out, but it's a big old mess. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. So, like, they had He-Man wear a cape. Um, I don't, I don't think it was all that good. Like, they didn't have Orko in it or anything like that. I don't, I don't remember Man at Arms being it. I could be misremembering it, but I don't remember most of the stuff. And then Skeletor, Skeletor just looked like a guy wearing a skeleton mask. He didn't look like a Skeletor. I love white charcoal on black charcoal. Sorry. Geeking out again for the 50 millionth time tonight. So this is the benefit of doing like, um, you, you know, these type of pictures. You get this like really high contrast detail here. Like when you just bring in white over black or black over white or whatever, you know. You get these like little wisps that come off. Gotta be, gotta be a little careful with them though, because it's not like you can erase it. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I could do that like by painting. I don't have the skill level. So, except for it being in black and white, this is like a cool alternative to painting. Get a white in here so it's not all black. I want a little bit of white coming out of that. Skeletor. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm also looking at it through the wrong lens, but I feel like, um, you know, today's day and age, they could have, like, made a really cool Skeletor, like CGI that crap or something like, um, I don't know why, but I'm thinking of like Ghost Rider, um, which I, I thought was pretty cool. Like, uh, Nicholas Cage's Ghost Rider, like they did a good job of making like a skeleton based, um, character there. Uh, even like the, uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they had Ghost Rider on that and he looked, uh, really cool. Like, I feel like you can create a um like a cool skeleton figure nowadays i mean that that's cheating though like uh you know they didn't have the cgi capability that they have nowadays back then but i feel like i feel like they could redo skeletor in a live action film and uh really do him justice you know like the whole actual skeleton just kind of floating in midair kind of deal all right, let me try to get some definition going in this ear over here. It, Goblin half to walk. I don't remember that. I got to go back and rewatch that. I feel like you guys are bringing up things that I don't remember from that movie. I feel like, it, it, you know, like every 80s movie, it's probably super cheesy. Like I recently went back and uh, rewatched all the uh, Indiana Jones before the Indiana Jones movie came out and stuff. And um, I'm a huge fan of Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones can do no wrong. But rewatching it now, I kind of looked at some of like some of this is cheesy dialogue, you know. And I didn't remember it being that way. I'm a huge fan of Indiana Jones, so don't don't take it the wrong way. But I think that uh, I, I I do think Indiana Jones um, stands the test of time too. Like those films, they don't get old. But some of that dialogue. 
but of course, you know, the, the film itself was set in a different era, so. Charcoal everywhere. Kind of cool how you can just change the shape of the ear like this. Like usually when I'm done drawing a picture, I, I immediately grab the camera and take a picture of the thing so that I can use it for like the thumbnail and stuff. I think that's, I think I'm going to have to go wash my hands first this time. <laughs> no, don't tell Harrison Ford. That guy's my hero. I mean, he probably realizes that some of his dialogue was, uh, and besides, I didn't say it was Harrison Ford who had the cheesy dialogue. I just said Indiana Jones, the movie, did. Nah, Harrison Ford's my hero. Like, I would love to meet that guy in real life. That would be awesome. Um, well... I guess I should clarify. So, like, I have different heroes for different things, right? So, like, definitely is, is, is like, a film actor. Harrison Ford is definitely my hero. Bob Ross would be my hero when it comes to, like, just art. Um, just because he's a cool guy, you know? Like, I, you know, some of his paintings and stuff, I don't even think that they're the best things in the world. But I, I think the guy himself is cool. Like, I don't think anybody ever got mad watching... Um, Bob Ross do his thing. He's just a cool guy, you know, like Mr. Rogers, right? Who doesn't like Mr. Rogers, you know? That's how I feel about Bob Ross. He's a cool guy. Wish I'd known him. Like, even my pencils, look at that. It's got gunk all over it. Let's see. Got a bit of hair coming down here. I've got to define the edge of this ear. Oh, you're taking off, Larry? Uh, have a good one, man. And I know some of you guys had like beefs and stuff in chat tonight. I just want to let you guys know. I appreciate you guys. You know, don't take things so seriously. It's just a stupid little art show, you know. It's not the end of the world. You guys will be fine. It's a stupid little horse, or like art show about horses. Not, not always horses. But I do draw. It's actually been a while since I've drawn a horse. Um, I I mentioned at the beginning, like whenever I'm trying something experimental, which is you know this is this is different for me drawing on canvas with charcoal. Um, I do like to draw horses because I am familiar with them. I feel like, I mean, not all of them are going to look great, but I feel like I can draw a decent horse without sweating it too much. So if I'm, um, if I'm experimenting, like doing, um, you know, charcoal on canvas for the first time, um, I don't really want to have to worry about the subject matter that I'm doing, so... So horses are a good um, thing to draw when I'm doing this. Sorry, I'm just rambling. I kind of want to see Masters of the Universe again. I like I like old films like that. You know what I like? Um, and, you know, I think that uh, some people might relate to this and then some people might be like, eh, I don't think so. I like watching old black and white movies. You want to talk about you know, products of the time, go back and watch a uh, black and white film from, say, the 1960s or something like that, like Breakfast at Tiffany's. 
Breakfast at Tiffany's was made at a certain time in, you know, like the, I don't know, like there were parts of Breakfast at Tiffany's that they would not be able to get away with today. Like, I, I hesitate to even recommend that as a film just because there is some, some pretty bad content in there, like, um, for certain cultures, but beyond that, it, you know, it's a, it's a great movie. Uh, I do think that like, um, some of these old movies from the 1960s and stuff like that, they're, they're kind of like from the heyday of, uh, cinema, um, when, you know, they actually made an effort to write a good, uh, movie and, you know, like have an actual plot and make everything make sense and not have plot holes and stuff like that. Like they took their art seriously in, in terms of like making movies and stuff. Um, so and I guess maybe 1960s isn't far enough back. Like, uh, some of these are in black and white, some of them not, but you know what I like as far as like black and white, um, stuff, uh, the old twilight zone. I love the old twilight zone. Oh, haunted mansion is cool. Yeah, I heard about that. I need to go and see that. Oh yeah, so um, so this is uh, this is charcoal, and uh, yeah, sorry, um, I, I forget some of you guys came in late. Uh, this is charcoal on on canvas. So like this is canvas board. Uh, so I was trying that uh, instead of just doing it like on paper, like I usually do. That's the experiment tonight. Is like, can you get charcoal? to work on canvas uh, board, which I kind of already knew you could because I'd seen other people do it, but I, I didn't know what would be involved in it. So like, that's where that's where the experimentation comes in. So like, I didn't know if I could use the same techniques that I usually use, or if I'd have to change things up. And I do think that there are some things that are a little bit different. Like I'm finding it hard to pick up stuff with the eraser um because it seems to stick to the canvas board a little bit harder but i think that's because i kind of like blended it in um i did find that my acetone i wanted to create kind of like a cool texture behind this with the acetone i don't think that that worked very well um but i think that's because i'm using a spray bottle instead of like a squirt bottle i think if i squirted it on the canvas board that would have worked better. So I'll have to try that again at some point in the future. I have found that this particular charcoal, which I have to figure out where I got that from, but I think it's just a soft charcoal, um, does really well on this canvas board as far as blending. Like, look at that deep, dark shadow I got out of it. And I anticipate, yeah. So even on this side, that deep, dark shadow, that works out really well on this canvas board. Sorry, I'm rambling again, but I get excited about these things. Yeah, and so yeah, that's a good point, uh, Lozello. So the acetone, I, I have found, kind of works as like a cheap fixant, uh, fixant or whatever the fucking thing's called. Um, it kind of locks that charcoal in there. Um, but it's also supposed to, like, uh, make it run as well. So, like, you, you see, like, um, in watercolor pictures where, like, the paint kind of streams down and stuff. That's what I was going for. I'd seen other people do that. Um, and yeah, it does lock the charcoal in there. And I think that's the reason why I'm having trouble like erasing. Um, but it's also supposed to, um, it's also supposed to cool, uh, create these cool running effects, which I can't produce with the spray version of it. Um, but I think that's a user error rather than the product. You know what I mean? I don't want just like little strands coming off here. All right, so I think I'm getting close to being done. I need to create some more definition in the hair over here. What are we doing on time? Okay, so we're right at two hours, so I do need to kind of like speed it up a little bit. But I think if I create some more definition in the hair over here on this side, we'll have a pretty decent horse. It's probably not the best horse in the entire world, but it's something that I can hang up on the wall and not be embarrassed. There you go pretty bad that that's my standard like something that i can hang up on the wall and not be embarrassed about i forgot that haunted mansions uh movie came out this week i, I kind of want to see that too 
I, I've been really slacking on movies lately. Like, I still want to see Mission Impossible. That's not even at my local theater anymore. Um, I want to see Oppenheimer. I may go see Barbie. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like that Barbie movie is going to be a little bit fun, like with just fun references and stuff like that. Like, that that's why I would go and see it. So basically by saying that I need to define this hair a little bit more, I need to create like these little pockets of shadow to go with my little pockets of you know, it, it's hard to make horses' manes, like, look well unless they're, like, in an action shot, like, where it's, like, flowing out the back or something like that. When it's just laying straight like this, it never looks pretty. These are wild animals. Like, their their hair goes all over the place. It's not like uh, dogs where, you know, if you give them a bath and their hair kind of, like, fluffs up and gets curly or something like that. Horses is just literally, like, they sleep in a barn on the, uh, you know, it gets all matted. It's just the way it goes. Now, no, normally it wouldn't matter, but I don't like that it's just kind of straight like this. I wish there was like some some volume and interesting things going on with this hair, but it is what it is. In fact, I, I don't think that this is terrible. There's probably some improvements I can make here, but I think it would require a little bit more time. And you just kind of put in these like little dark areas to go with the light areas. And it generally works out okay. Not really the main focal point. People looking at, like when you're looking at this, where are, you, where are your eyes drawn to? I, I believe it's probably the horse's eyes. So that's really the part that you need to get right. The rest of it is just like extra. I did want to create some texture in the background, but it wasn't meant to be, I guess. So I know my hand brushed across this down here and kind of picked some of this up. So if you do work on um, with uh, charcoal on a canvas, you can probably create something a little more interesting than this horse. I, I was just doing this as a test, um, but I would like to maybe get some bigger, like actual canvas instead of canvas board. But get something a little bit bigger. That's actually my ultimate goal. I want to create something really large. And um, I feel like I could fill it up with like an entire scene maybe. And not just like a horse profile. Like I feel like I should have an action shot of a horse going on instead of just a face. All right, let me look at my reference picture. I kind of want to get some fur in here. I think it would be there because Charlotte was writing about this horse. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen that in forever either. Charlotte's Web. Didn't they have like a CGI version of that? Like I remember the old cartoon. Um, but didn't they have like a CGI kind of version of uh, Charlotte's Web as well? Like, um, I don't know, in the last 10, 20 years, maybe? I feel like they did. That's a fun story, Charlotte's Web. Not a fun story. It actually kind of sad in the end, but... Oh, it's just a spoiler alert. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, I think this is about as good as it's gonna get, guys. At least in this uh, this time frame that I allowed myself. I think this should come down and kind of curl around a little bit. Because you do have like, you have a brow that is kind of going around. 
don't know. What do you guys think? Does it look like a horse? I think it looks like a horse. Oh, let's see. I can add some texture here. So the problem is, like, if I try to tr create, like, just, like, little lines of um, hairs through here, it just, it doesn't look any different than if it was just smudged. So it's really hard to get kind of, like, fine detail in here. This is why I'm saying, if you're going to, so I, I can make some observations after doing this test. Um, I will say that if you want to try doing charcoal on canvas in general, whether it's canvas board or like I'm doing here or like a bit like an actual canvas, I suggest going big. And the reason I say that is um, because of the texture of the canvas, it is very hard to get fine details in there, right? And I'm not one for fine details anyway. I, I take advantage, in, in my mind, if you can, if you can stand, um, you know, like three feet away from it and it looks like what you want it to look like, if it starts to get that realist um, kind of look, look to it, which I feel like this one does, like, um, I feel like you've done your job as an artist, right? It's not like somebody's gonna be looking at it with a magnifying glass, but, I will say I am struggling getting like, I like to uh, draw like little fur. Um, yeah, it's fur, uh, little hairs along the, um, even though it's like a smooth face, there are these like little lines created by um, the, the coat. And I can't seem to get that in here because of the, um, all they end up looking like is dots because it's going across the texture of the canvas. So I will say that that's a challenge. And the way that you can compensate for that is like, if you're going to do this, like if you're going to go um, with charcoal on canvas, go big, just get a big, large canvas and just put it up against the wall and just have some fun. Because then the, like, if I wanted to create like little lines of fur, I mean, that's basically like an entire area on a, like a larger canvas. Um, I'm babbling, but it, hopefully you guys see my point. My point is that if you have a larger canvas, you don't have to worry about these like fine details being so fine. So I think that that's what I'm going to do next time I uh, do a canvas, a charcoal on canvas. I'm just going to go off and get, I don't know, like a, I don't even know what canvas sizes there are out there. But I'm going to get a big one and uh, go with that. Um, somebody mentioned, I think it was trusted earlier in the day, like he was wondering if um um, you could do charcoal on wood. I, I think you could, and maybe that's what I'll do uh, next is I'll go off and uh, get some, I think you might have to give it some sort of texture, some sort of tooth. So you may have to prime it somehow, but I'll look into that and, and get back with you guys. Um, but yeah, so charcoal on the uh, canvas board. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. Uh, if you guys do like it, be sure to like this video and um, I think most of the people who have been commenting in here are already subscribers, but obviously if you're not, feel free to subscribe. Um, we often do these like little experiments on here. I think this one turned out pretty well. Uh, there are some things that didn't work exactly the way I thought it would, particularly in the background texture uh, with the acetone, but I'll give that another shot in the future. I really do think it's because I have like a little mist bottle here. Um, I need a squirt. I need a squirt gun. Just kind of squirt it um, and see how that works. But anyway, it is what it is. All right. So hopefully you guys had fun. Um, this is the point where I take a swig of my bourbon. I look back and see if there's any last minute touches I can do. Mm, I don't know. The uh, the only thing I would really change about this, to be honest, is the composition. Like I don't like that it's just a face. Like. If I, if I zoomed out a little bit more, maybe I could get like a little swish of the tail in there, maybe like a little more of the, um, the chest area. Um, but it's a horse. I like it. All right. So again, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'll go back and review the chat and see if any changes need to be made there. Just in general, you know, kind of keep the chat uh, PG-13 and try to get along with other people. Uh, the people who watch this show come from like a wide variety of uh, like age range uh, background. Like I've got the stats on that, my analytics. I've got everybody from, you know, 13 year old kids up to, you know, 60, 70 years old. So like, obviously there's gonna be like some cultural, um, you know, like there's going to be some weird cultural clashes and there's going to be some, um, 
different vocabulary that people use. Just try to get along. We're here to create art and have a good time. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys feel that well uh, that that way as well. And uh, we can make it all work. So. And um, also be aware that, you know, I am drawing a picture, so I am often distracted, so I can't handle these things in real time. I'll, I'll try to get somebody in here to kind of keep uh, track of uh, those type of things in the future so that we can we can deal with them a little bit more swiftly. But I don't know. I don't really know what the answer is. You guys get along. There you go. That's the answer. Oh, uh, yeah, I am wearing the uh, Team Olivia T-shirt. Um, you know, I, I mentioned go and check her stuff out on uh, Instagram. She makes these really cool uh, alcohol ink pictures. The dogs are, dogs want to be in the show. I love, I love Bear. Isn't she cute? I haven't, I've drawn one or two pictures of Bear. I need to do more. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Um, anyway, appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I'll see you guys uh, probably on Tuesday unless I draw something again. Um, I need a catchphrase for the end. Uh, like, I don't know. Bye. <laughs> That's my catchphrase. Bye. See ya.